Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today I'm going to bring a 4K projector. It's called ViewSonic. It's, it, the model number is PX747 um, 4K, all right, just to let you guys know. So we're going to test this out. We're going to watch a movie. We're going to also do some gaming and see if it's even worth it. And we're going to put it outdoors, too, see if how bright it works on the outdoors during the night. Um, and there's a couple of lights here and there, but we're going to try to see if we could dim it down. And we're also going to do an indoor test and see how well it works. But indoor tests, I prefer doing outdoor. If it could handle outdoor, it could handle indoors. That's pretty much what it is. Now, this one has over 300 watts of power that you need to require. I mean, it's it's hefty. You could watch Netflix. You could do all sorts of things. We're going to open it up and see what else you get when you purchase something like this. So let's take a look at it. First of all, they give you the batteries that you're going to need for the remote. Yes, it comes with the remote. Power cord for the projector. And then these are the extra cables that they have. And this was a, a SVG cable, all right? Super VGA cable in here. And the remote control, of course. Uh, it looks like pretty much like one of those um, other remotes that I've seen before. And these are, they're okay. They're not the greatest remotes. I mean, uh, the IR in front of the projector, it, it has to be a certain, certain degrees before you start messing around with this or using it. So let's go ahead and take it out of the box. See how heavy it is. Oh, that's heavy. All right, first of all, you got your regular focus knob here. You got the zoom knob in here. And you have your big giant power button, of course. Everything lines up when it turns on. You got your menu bar here. And then you got your temperature control here. It tells you if it's overheating or if it's hot or if it's on, if it's cool. Now, you got your angles here that you can change your certain uh, pillars on it. And it, certain angles could go squeeze on the top, squeeze at the bottom. Pretty much um, set a certain side angles. Blank, enter, source. Now the blank, we're going to take a look at it because that's pretty much to kind of get the degrees of your, your angle that you're going to see. Uh, air filt air vents on the side of it, of course. You know, you get your air vents. Um, in the front of it, what you see is your IR connection in here. All right, so your remote control, you want to be able to get that. Um, a couple of vents coming in, in and out. Another vents on the side of it. Nothing really fancy. It's just another side vent. You can see, actually see the fans there. And let's turn it around. Now behind it, in the back, this is very important. You got your audio cable, your SVG, and then you have two, two HDMI. Now this is this is the problem right here. One of them is 4K, the other one is in 1080s maximum. You could go on one of them, and then you got your regular USB. It's the old-fashioned USB, and then you have this this RH RS-232 connection. And then you have a USB. This is a thing where you will have to, maybe you have an Amazon stick you want to put in there and I'll be able to read. Uh, if you have movies on an actual USB, I'll be able to read it here. Now, this is your 12 volts out connection, all right? So that's an additional connection to something else to want to uh, power. Um, you got your, your your power adapter here. Now, we're going to flip it around because we're going to talk a little bit about the bottom part, right? Now, in the bottom, the face is here. It's facing this one. There's only a couple of knobs that you could actually move and i think it's just this this one and this one right here only two of them you could actually move in a different angle i don't know why they didn't do this one to actually be more flexible uh but unfortunately there's only two connection and you also have a setup for any kind of uh, overhead projector that you're gonna replace there's a couple of areas that the screws go in there so they have these things that hang from the ceiling that you could project anywhere move the projector kind of an angle and stuff like that it's, it's a neat feature that i like so one two three connections here um uh, but that's pretty much what it is we're gonna take a look at it and test it out i like to test things out i don't like to talk too much about it because all the details i'm going to put it on the description I like to put this to the work. If you're going to be gaming or you're going to be doing work on it or presentation or watching movies, we're going to take a look at it and see how strong it is. With 35 uh, lumens, we're going to see how strong it, it, it and bright it is. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and put it on the action. We're going to do this outdoors so you guys can see how well it works. Projector screen. Look at, look at it. It's still daylight out there. Another roll? Uh, look how good it looks, Sweet guys. Peas? On the Still daylight on the top. You guys can and see it. Real Looks really of good course. outdoors. And, and we haven't even hit the darkness. I'm gonna get closer so you guys can see it. Really good quality. I'm not even at 4K on this one. But still daylight. Lots of daylight. Sorry. And it looks really good. It's phenomenal. And it's look it's dark now. It's really dark. 
Yeah. Quality, I'm going to zoom in on the side of it. Hang out! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! <laughs> 19 by 20 all right we're gonna down we're gonna go to 4k now on this one if you guys notice so we're gonna go to 4k here it is 32 keep changes we're gonna play a movie right now okay so the system does have speakers we can see it and hear it they're really they're really low really low i mean but the quality of it and i have lights on okay google studio off i'm gonna turn them off right now so you guys can see a little bit better but the audio is really low on this one and the air you can hear it kicking in when it's actually kicking in hard and then um after a couple minutes but it's not that bad it's not that bad you can enjoy it we're playing for maybe an hour of video games and then uh, uh actually two or three hours of video games <laughs> and watch the movie so it's not that bad um so i'm gonna get closer you guys can see the quality and right now it's on 4x um really good quality and this is on the projector screen this is actually on the screen itself really good one of the best projectors so far um I, I haven't even expanded to take over the whole thing it's just well how good quality it is anyways if you guys enjoy it let me know all right I like how it turns on everything turns on the light and everything to turn it off it's very simple right now we have the button all we have to do is hold, hit the button once and it tells you hold the button again you hold it down and let it go and it turns off right now it's cooling off before it shuts down a couple minutes and it'll turn off all right so one thing i kind of like about it, it 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 is awesome little projector but there's a lot of butts in here that i kind of wish they had changed it. it's the fans are really loud as soon as it gets hot the, the actual light bulb for like a half an hour starts spinning up you're gonna hear it um, if it's too close to your actual projector screen, people are standing right, and right next to it, then you're going to have an issue with it. Uh, it's not as loud as you get, but uh, if you guys can hear some of the stuff, I put the camera a little closer so you guys can see it in action. Um, you can hear it in my point of view. So another thing I wish, I wish it was lighter. This thing is heavy. This is really heavy. It's like almost three and a half pounds uh, of heaviness. I wish they had stream it down, maybe shorten it up a little bit more. But the technology needs to be spread out so it could cool down the light bulbs and uh, the brightness of it. I can understand why they have. Now, the remote control, uh, it had a little issues here and there, but then it started working. But overall, it, it's a nice little feature. All the keys are very simple to use. All the key components are very simple to use, of course. Um, power button, you can't miss the power button. Now, when you hit it off, it waits a while to cool off before it shuts down because it needs to cool off the, the, the actual... Um, uh, glass and the actual light bulb so after a while it turns off but you can immediately shut it down if you hold down the button to it gives you that three second countdown it'll shut down um but don't recommend that you know you'll damage your light bulb dropping it be careful how you handle this i mean i wish it came with at least a case in the box so you could put it all together because right now i'm keeping the box and the case and the the wrapping so it would keep it stable because it's a 4k and this is a thousand oh, it goes over a thousand dollars so you don't want to mess with something like this and put it somewhere that you're going to lose parts here and there especially with all the cables and the remote and the instruction you want to keep them on there because there is some very important features to reset the the actual visual of it so when you ever see and you change certain angles it doesn't have an auto focus on auto setup you have to do this manually uh, but there is a manual button that you could reset the thing you could do it remotely or you could do it on the manual here uh, but you are gonna if you forget how to do it you can always go back to your instructions I like to keep the instructions in the same bag or so uh, overall it's a nice projector for uh, you know for 1300 bucks you can put it anywhere pretty much it's pretty bright as you can see we're gonna put it outdoors and you guys took a look at it so if you guys have any questions or any comments on stuff like this let me know I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and we're out.